If you're looking to get a Tesla Model 3, you might be deciding on what kind of wheels you should get. You might not like the look of these 18 inch aero wheels with the plastic cover. Many people don't know that there's a pretty handsome alloy wheel just underneath the cap here. You can pop it off rather easily. I kind of pulled it off a little bit already so it was easier to show on camera. Tesla provides these wheel cap covers to help you with efficiency by reducing drag on the wheels when they're spinning. The improvement to efficiency increases more depending on how fast you're driving, but supposedly these aero cap covers provide between three and 5% improvement to efficiency when you have them on. I'm going on a road trip down to San Diego this weekend, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to try and test out how much efficiency is gained by having these wheel cap covers on. I'm gonna go one leg down to San Diego with these on, and then on the way back, I'll take them off and we'll measure the difference in efficiency in terms of watt hours per mile and take a look at what percentage of battery I used each way for how many miles. So I'm all packed up and ready to go for my 110 mile drive down to San Diego. This will be the leg with the aero caps on. I'm also accompanied today by my cat Otis. He's not very happy. All right, so we got the energy graph up here. It's a 110 mile trip down to my destination in San Diego County. We're leaving here with 50%. It thinks we'll get there with 16%. That big dip in the middle you see are the toll roads in Orange County. Be on our way here after I reset the trip. All right, so we're about a third of the way in. So we've gone 35 miles and our average energy usage is 217 watt hours per mile. That's probably because I'm in traffic and have to go under 75 miles an hour. I'm 50 miles in, use 13 kilowatt hours. The average energy usage is 249 watt hours per mile. Here's where we are in the energy graph, down to 30% battery. Looks like we're still gonna get there with 17%. I'll let you know. I've got this gorgeous moon out tonight for my drive. This fucking Denny's, this Denny's sign. So I've made it down to San Diego. You can see my energy graph here. Looks like I did a little bit worse than predicted after the toll roads. That's the, the big dip in the graph there where I used a lot of energy and then got some back. For this first leg of the trip down to San Diego with the aero caps on, I went 109 miles, used 25 kilowatt hours, and my average energy usage was 228 watt hours per mile. That's pretty good for the aero caps on. We'll see how we do on our way back. So before I head back up to LA and try to measure my efficiency with the aero Aero covers off. Uh, I obviously need to take off the aero covers. I also have this kit here to plug up the holes that'll be left over when I take the cover off. I'll show you how to take the wheel caps off and put these on in a quick second here. All right, so to get the aero covers off, all you need to do is just pull straight out. Uh, I'll try to demonstrate that here as best as possible. Just like that. And you can see we've got the alley wheels left underneath. I'm gonna go around and do that to the other side now. Same deal, just pull them straight off. And there we go, my hands are super dirty from those wheels. Okay, so now that I have my aero covers off, I'm gonna put these caps in there, super easy. You just push them straight in there. I like to line the Tesla T up with the air stem for the tires and just stick those in there. You also have these little black plastic caps to put over the lug nuts, so I'll do that here. I'll try not to burn my knees on this hot pavement. grab those plastic covers and put them on the lug nuts, but I think you get the idea. So I'm getting ready to head back up to Los Angeles. I'm finishing up a little bit of charging for the car so that I have 80% to head back up there. I'll flip the camera around in a second and show you what the energy graph is looking like for the return trip. But it's another 110 miles back up there, this time without the aero caps on. So we'll measure how efficient I was in terms of watt hours per mile on the way back and compare that to what we saw on the way down. We've got five minutes left to charge here. Let's take a look at the energy graph for the trip. Looks pretty similar to the graph that we had on the way down. To understand these lines, it's just basically showing how much energy it thinks we'll use at each leg of the trip. Uh, this dip is again for the toll roads in Orange County. So we're doing the same route both ways so that doesn't come into effect with the differences in elevation. Let's head out here here when we hit 80 percent and we'll measure how efficient we are on the way back without the aero caps on well we're stuck in a little bit of stop and go traffic um well it's not really stop and go we're stuck in a little bit of traffic thank god for autopilot this trip is looking awfully efficient so far with only 12 miles in we just got on the freeway and we haven't even really reached freeway speeds for an extended period of time but it's looking pretty good for no aero caps so far let's hope that i get out of some of this traffic and i can make it a, a fair test because if we're only going 
under 75 miles an hour the whole way, then it's not going to be a, a fair test compared to me driving down at an average of like 75 miles an hour. Uh, so we'll see if this trip information changes. The energy graph hasn't really changed too much. It's a little bit higher than it was in the intro clip because I charged up another 2%. So that's the difference in the, the graph that you see so far. But as we keep driving and as my efficiency changes, this graph will change as well. So we'll see what it looks like once we get closer to the toll roads. All right, we're about 31 miles in, clearing that border checkpoint between San Diego and LA. We're at 223 watt hours per mile so far. We got back up to highway speeds a little bit ago. We were probably in traffic for maybe 10 miles, but Hopefully that doesn't impact the results of the test too much. So if you've ever driven between LA and San Diego, you might not know that Denny sign that I called out, but you definitely know those, those puppies. Atomic boobies. So we just ticked over to 55 miles on the trip. We're halfway in. Our efficiency is hovering around 203 eight watt hours per mile right now. It's been going up since we got out of the traffic and we've been hitting highway speeds. So it might be a good test after all. So we'll see what this looks like once we get back home to Los Angeles. I'm gonna try not to film so much while I'm driving because it's not safe, but wanted to give you all a halfway check in here. All right, we're back in Los Angeles, only 10 miles left on the trip here. Made it back to Los Angeles here. We went 109 miles with the aero caps off. We used 25 kilowatt hours of the battery and our average energy consumption was 233 watt hours per mile. I made it back with Otis too. He's getting a little stir crazy. So I got to bring him back up into my apartment. We'll check in later and do the math. Cool, so we've made it back up to Los Angeles. We got the data for both legs of the trip. On the way down with the aero caps on, we used 25 kilowatt hours according to the onboard computer of the car. And the car also told us that our average energy usage, our efficiency, was 228 watt hours per mile. On the way down, we started at 50% and we ended at 16% for a total battery percentage usage of 34% according to the display on the car. For the return trip with the aero caps off, we also used 25 kilowatt hours according to the onboard computer of the car, but our average efficiency was 233 watt hours per mile. We went from 80% down to 45%, so we used 35% of the battery on the way back up. Just going off of the average energy usage shown in the car, that was a difference of 2.19%. So it was a little weird that we saw the same energy usage displayed on the car, 25 kilowatt hours. I dug into that a little bit more and did the math with the average energy usage shown on the car for both legs of the trip and the exact mileage for this trip, which was actually 108 and a half miles. When we look at the trip down at 228 watt hours per mile for 108 miles, we actually used 24.74 kilowatt hours. For the return trip with the aero covers off, we had an average efficiency of 233 watt hours per mile. That over 108 and a half miles means that we really used 25.28 kilowatt hours. So there really was a difference. We had to do the math to figure it out. Clearly the trip computer in the car is just rounding up and rounding down for us to make nice, even integers for us to see on the screen. So by that same token of the trip computer just showing us whole integers rounding up and rounding down, I wanted to calculate the exact percentage of the battery that we used for each leg of the trip. Taking the average energy usage and the percentages that the computer said we used, I was able to calculate estimated total capacity of the battery in both cases. I then took the average of those two numbers to get my estimated total usable pack size. Taking that calculated total usable pack size and the calculated energy used for each leg of the trip, I was able to determine that with the aero caps on on the way down, we actually used 34.12% of the battery. With the aero caps off, we actually used 34.87% of the battery. So not the full 1% difference that we saw from the trip computer. Taking our average efficiency for both kinds of driving with aero caps on versus aero caps off and that total usable pack size, we're able to estimate some real world ranges for having both the aero caps on and the aero caps off. So with the aero caps on, given my efficiency of 228 watt hours per mile, we could estimate that you'll have around 318 usable miles of range in the battery pack. With the aero caps off at 233 watt hours per mile, you'll only go about 311 miles. So having the aero caps on versus off seems like a seven mile difference in terms of range. Cap this off though, I do have to caveat that these results are just for the sort of driving that I was doing 
the 75 mile an hour highway testing mixed in with that other city and suburban driving. If you're cruising at 80 miles an hour for an extended period of time, you're gonna take a bigger hit to efficiency for not having those aero caps on. Drag and air resistance are a huge factor in terms of EV efficiency. So if you're going faster, that air resistance and that drag is really gonna hold you back a lot more. Even the difference between 75 miles an hour and 80 miles an hour is huge. So keep that in mind when you're doing your own driving and your own road trips. So my recommendation would be take the aero caps off if you don't like the look of them or if you prefer the look of these alloy wheels. Seven miles isn't a huge difference in terms of range. If you are going on a road trip or you have range anxiety and you really don't wanna miss the next charging stop by seven miles, then pop those puppies back on. Thanks for sticking with me through the video this long. If you enjoyed all of the nerdy testing and EV math, please leave a like and subscribe. That way you won't miss out on any more electric vehicle videos.